Good morning. With last month's inflation numbers showing prices still at a 40-year high, expect the Federal Reserve today to hike interest rates as much as three quarters of a percentage. In the meantime, the White House says it's scrambling to find ways to ease the pain on Americans. Wednesday, the Federal Reserve is expected to spike interest rates yet again in an attempt to slow record high inflation, squeezing the pockets of millions of Americans. Inflation is, uh, is challenging. Tuesday, top White House economist Brian Deese acknowledged the task at hand is a difficult one. He says while the Federal Reserve works on its strategy, the administration is looking for other ways to help reduce consumer costs. As the Fed operates and takes the steps that it uh, will take, we have identified a set of very clear steps that we could take and that we could take working with Congress. But Senate Republicans say they fear the Biden administration's approach could add more fuel to the fire. I think there's a real sense that this out of control economy uh, is about to go over a cliff. Tuesday, Missouri Republican Senator Roy Blunt said the administration continues to ignore warning signs. What they've been doing won't work. More of the same, more tax and spend, will make this problem worse, not better. Before we go off the cliff, it's time to pump the brakes. The administration says right now they're looking for ways to cut back, not add to the problem. They're urging Democrats and Republicans to pass a bill to reduce prescription drug costs. The plan under consideration would allow the federal government to negotiate drug prices for Medicare recipients. The White House insists that plan could help ease some of the pain in the economy. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin. Back to you.